Go anywhere. Not up to it then, you innocent, shovel-wielding, horny-handed sons of the native sod. Not many people know Patrick Brady, a.k.a. Saint Kitten, who strutted the catwalks, face lit by a halo of flashbulbs as, oh, she shrieked, I told you from my best side, darling. What's her address? Whatever form it takes is up to you. It can be called. Hello, class. My name is Miss Kitty. I'd like to tell you about the pearls of being a police housekeeper, especially when you look like Mitzi Gaynor. I'm not looking down at you, Mitzi Gaynor. Me, kitten, father. Maiden, after seeing kitten? Was it a her? Kitten? Mm hmm. Oh, she really needs a bit of glamour in her life, Mrs. Coyle. Then again, don't we all? It'll not be good for you, but Christ, it'll not. Oh, Mammy. Huh? Do you have the price of the dance? Oh, thank you so much, Mammy. Thank you so much. God created a woman for me. He must have been in a beautiful mood to show the world what a woman could be. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, kiss me, Joseph. Kiss me, Joseph. And right. Oh, you're back, I'm fucking! What did you write in the paper, Patrick? Nothing. Nothing. Just that you know any place that does a good sex change. <laughs> fucking from a helicopter. Give him a dose of white noise. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Hatchet. Well, I could always uh, put you up in the van. It's not much, but I could. Mr. Hatchet. And honey, I miss you. It's very small. It will not warm the heart at all. But the man is burning. Serious, serious, serious. You might have to soon enough. Come, if I fuck up, come, you tell them nothing. Help, no. Whatever. I knew you were only joking about the roses. And sweets too, probably. But it was nice when it lasted. You are not serious. You see, there's that word again. It's everywhere. But you don't know a soul in London, Paddy. There's only one soul I need, Charlie. Will you be going back home after you found her? Oh, yes, of course. Maybe she'll come with me. Out of your league here, friend. No, not down. Tommy, one baby, sham, one pop. And just who is this phantom lady? Well, it's my mother, really. I call her that to pretend it's a story. That's happening to someone else, you see. Why would you pretend that? Because otherwise, I might cry and never stop. I just love love songs. Yes. It's called. A Prince in the custard. Oh, her real name was Eileen Bergen. She was. Hello, like young lady. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Cupid. Lady was Berkeley. She realized in the city that never sleeps. What did she realize, kitten? Well, that all the songs that she'd listened to and cried down on her flower bed. 
and she even believed. Party smackers in the pot! It wasn't just to see me. Was there something to do with Arwen? You might say that. You know what I mean, don't you? It'd be an absolute disaster. Like me. It's the politicians will fuck it up, though, innit? Patricia gets sick of that black. <gasps> what is it with freedom? Patrick. Hello. A friend of mine. Yeah, I like it. You have like me? What a nice bullshit. No here. What is it? Four months, two weeks, and three days. Now listen, sir. We can't all let big pursuers and lose. Some of us are what you might call. Is that dog in the window? The one with the waggly tail. No way. I want, I want English. I want conservative. I want yeah, East Finchley. I want powerful. You think it works? I think you look better than her. I do look better than her, don't you? Do. Yeah. Yes, of course I should. Um, where would I find her? Nice thing that I can do. Maybe you could. Where do you sleep? Do you know that project? Color of the ocean beyond Ross's Point. The blessed oh, was. Oh, can we try the. Um. If it isn't the young boy from the multi phone household. What's your name? Phantom Lady. That's a funny name. I know that. I'm a funny lady. Charlie, darling, this is... Pa 